Hello, dear viewers. Welcome to GeoNodes Daily Series, where we do something cool in Geometry Nodes and we try to do as fast as possible. And uh, today it's going to be a relatively short uh, video um, where we will look at implementing in Geometry Nodes the random walk uh, algorithm, the one that you see demoed in this uh, video. And the uh, random walk, it's something that it's uh, described as uh, a random process which describes a path including a succe succession of random steps in a mathematical space. Yeah, um, I tried to read uh, about this uh, in the past also. It gets, uh, it gets really boring really fast, but the implementation is going to be really uh, simple and uh, uh, cool as you will see. Before we start, a big thank you to all of you that are supporting this channel by purchasing the project files from Gumroad or subscribing, liking and commenting in, on the videos. All of these things are helping the channel grow and thank you very much for uh, doing that. So let's get started. Uh, like I said, we need um, a pattern. So uh, this will be the first uh, thing to do. Uh, generate a pattern. So, how can we generate a random pattern in uh, geometry nodes and make it uh, grow after, uh, afterwards? So, let's start by um, adding a line. And I'm going to get rid of the input node. And this will be the base for our pattern. And uh, now I'm going to randomize the points. So, let's do a set position, plug it here. And then I'm going to take a random value, switch this one to vector, and plug it to position here. So now if we do a geometry mesh, mesh to points, we get a bunch of points. So let's say we'll have a pattern from minus one to one. And this is our uh, basically random pattern of 10 points. So how can we make this one grow over time? Well, that's a very cool thing and actually really easy. Um, let's take a scene time and uh, let's make this pattern grow over time. And we will do this by using a map range node. So I'm gonna plug the frame rate, frame range here. Let's say we want this pattern to grow from the frame 1 to the frame 120. We can use any range we want. And as for the output, let's start with one pattern. And let's say we will end up with, um, I don't know, 1000. Excellent. And now we are just going to plug this one into the count. So if we play the frame rate, we get this uh, uh, growing pattern of uh, points. So that's the first part. Now it's time to move to the cool part, how we can implement the random walking algorithm. And uh, for that, we will use this new node in geometry nodes, the accumulate field, and we will change the position for uh, this one that we already have here. And let's take a uh, set position and I'm gonna use the leading to plug it here. If you hover over these uh, uh, outputs, it's gonna give you a short description of what it does. I played a little bit with those and uh, for this effect, you can use either leading or trailing. It's uh, pretty much uh, a similar effect, not exactly the same, but similar. So now let's uh, grab the positions from these uh, points that we created here. And I'm going to switch this one to index and the float to vector. So now let's grab the position from these points by plugging it here. And this is going to be our input here. If we want to look at the output in this uh, geometry, we can see what's going on here. Uh, it helps to play with some simpler values. 
to for this to make sense but you basically we are adding up values from uh, one uh, index to the next one okay this is not the point to properly explain this they are actually the guy that implemented this algorithm had uh, uh, did a series of tutorials doing something with cubes it's really inter interesting you can check it out on the net for us uh, it's gonna be these points that you see here so if we play now you get to see what's going on here let's start with frame one we have a pattern and as the pattern grows meaning we get more points from this uh, mesh line uh, they get accumulated added to each other and this creates this random walk pattern so let's uh, add some geometry to uh, to this i'm gonna use a instance on points this will be our point and for the instances i'm gonna use an icosphere plug it here and let's say add some subdivisions and make this one smaller so now we kind of get this let's go to the last frame to see the entire cloud we kind of get this uh, pattern here and we can play with this by um, randomizing for example the size let's take a random value and plug it into the scale and let's say everything has like a value from 0.1 to one so now we get some uh, variation for uh, um, these dots and the last thing that i want to do as you saw in the demo we kind of have a different uh, color for this so i want to transfer the uh, a random attribute so each point will have a random value that then can be used in the shader to create the variation in colors and uh, that part is going to be as usual treated in another video the shading but i'm going to show you how you can transfer uh, the attributes in order for this to work in um, in the shader we unfortunately have to do uh, realize instances otherwise the values of the custom attributes will not be read it read so uh, let's create a random value and plug it to the output i'm gonna give it a name by going to the group let's say random factor and uh, of course in the output of the geometry nodes we have to put a name so let's say runa do from random and fact from factor and this is the name that you have to plug in the uh, shader on the attributes so if we are to use this um, value we will have a problem because uh, we will get a random value for each single face or point of this geometry depending on the domain in this case it's the point so each point will have a different uh, uh, value and that's not what we want we want each um, of these uh, orbs let's say uh, to have um, uh, value not each point so how can we get that well we have to um, get the number of points from this uh, mesh so let's do a domain size and uh, let's take the geometry from here plug it here and now this point count is giving us the number of points and now we can do a little bit of math so we will do a snap of this um, um, point count using the index so let's do index and we will gonna plug this index to the value and we are going to slap snap it to the number of points and this uh, this output is gonna be used as the id of this random value so now we have this point count of 162 that will uh, snap the index in these increments so we are basically going to get a random value every 
other 162 values in this case. So basically, every time we change the orb, we finish the points of the orb and we move to the next one, we get a random value. So each orb will have just one random value and no more. And this is how you can uh, do a random factor. And I use this random value to control the hues of these uh, uh, points. And if you want to see more details on that, check the material video that uh, accompanies this project. Now it's time to show you the cleanup uh, node uh, tree version. So you can do screenshots and uh, stuff like that. So this is the cleanup uh, node tree that is giving us uh, this final result that you see here. And if I do a full screen, we get uh, the scene time that is controlling uh, the number of uh, points in the cloud from 1 to 1000. And we have this pattern that we generated by randomizing the points from this mesh line that are increasing uh, in uh, time. I added this snap node to make sure that there is a minimum distance between points so we don't get points overlapping each other. They have a little bit of distance. And uh, then I turn it to points and I did the random walk implementation uh, by um, using the cumulative node in this setup. And then we generated the geometry. Uh, this random rotation is actually not uh, needed. I experimented with uh, different shapes, that's why I use the rotation, but if you use dots like here, it's not going to be needed. I of course added the material to the entire thing, realized the instances so we can use the random attributes, and I generated two random attributes, one for the hue and the other one I used for making the dots have a little bit of a blink. So that's it for uh, this project. Thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, you find interesting this uh, implementation of random walk. I actually did this a few years back in uh, Sverchok. So the, as soon as <laughs> I saw this new node, I said, oh, I want to do this. So I did it and I shared with you guys so you can use it. So have fun playing with it.